I'm not sure when this video will get uploaded, or if I will upload it, but I probably will. This is maybe just breaking down some boards into where I can use them for other things. Because these are pretty thick, and I got some ideas that I could do with these, but I think I'm going to cut them up a little bit smaller, about three quarter inches thick, and see what I can come up with to make out of these. This is pallet wood. We're in the middle of August when I'm recording this, and this is the month of the pallet challenge. I've already uploaded one video that was the picture frame out of the pallet that I did a few weeks ago, I guess, or a week ago. I can't remember when it was now. And these are some pallets. These are all safe. These pallets all have this stamp somewhere on them. I'll put a picture on the screen where you can see it a little better. And this is just some boards I have cut out that I've kind of broken down already. That Like this one's shorter because probably it had screws it stuck in it that I couldn't get out. So I wanted to go ahead and just throw those pieces away so I didn't end up going through my table saw or something. part of the video is not going to be that interesting to you guys because most people don't get access to pallets held together by screws but what I like to do for these screws and if there's nails too there's a nail right here is I'll come in here and mark with I have a white crayon here where the screws are at that way I can make sure that I get them out I don't want it left in there and it run through my planer or table saw and cause some damage And what I do is if they have screws in them like this one does, it goes in this stack over here. And this stack here is all the ones that don't have screws in them. And I'll come back and get these apart. So like this one here, screw. So we're going to mark it, set it to the side. Now these top boards usually come off pretty easy without much trouble. And here you can just see me continue to take boards off and take screws out and putting the boards in the correct pile whether they have nails and screws left in them. Now what you see me doing is I'm bringing the boards in and I'm going to go ahead and cut these boards up into around 3 quarter inches thick so that I can have a couple boards to use these for. Making two passes here and then I'll flip them. Uh, uh, making two passes flipping them each way and then I will raise the blade and make a final pass to get them cut all the way through. And here's where I'm making the final pass and uh, taking them all the way apart finally. Sometimes the boards get stuck so you just flip them around and there you go and it goes right on through. No issues with that one. And I went ahead and cut up all of my pallet wood that I had in the shop whenever I was doing this video so I'd make sure I had plenty. Here the board was pinching together so I just put a little board in there to keep it separated and there you go. So rather than me planing these boards down to where there's no little gaps, I'm just cutting this little piece out. You can see, yeah, like right there, you can see that piece there. Just cut that out and, so that I don't have to plane it down so small. And some of the boards I ended up throwing away because they did have nails in them, so I didn't want to, or they had defects or whatever it was, but just cut that little piece out and you got two boards. And now we're just going to start running these through the planer. This is just to kind of get them cleaned up a little bit and so we can see what kind of 
grain pattern we have on the boards and start being able to tell more about the wood. Here's some of the longer boards coming through there and check this out. Is that not some pretty wood there? And you can see a few of the saw blade marks and things like that on these boards but we're slowly going to plane these down and get all that out of these. Once I got them all planed down, now I'm going to go back and and uh, edge joint these boards. And this is just to make sure they're flat and so I can get just an idea of how crooked they were and, how, and how, what I can use these boards for. Nothing to it. This is, this is just my edge joining jig and it works great for these. I don't think I got video of it, but once I joint one side, I go back and cut the other side to make sure it's straight and flat. This is very handy since I don't have a joiner. Nothing to it really. There was a bunch of these boards to joint too. Here I'm doing two of the smaller boards at the same time. And yes, that is safe enough. I'm not really worried about them coming loose with the them being held down here. And this is pretty much the process I go through. This is the way I like to go through the pallets and see what kind of wood they have in them. And I do this usually with when I break down pallets, just so I can get an idea of what kind of wood it is, what kind of shape it's in, and all that good stuff. So you can see, I have wood in here that most of this wood that's in this rack here is from pallet, pallets. So I like to try to get the pallets apart, break them down, and I mean some of the wood we get is just beautiful, like check this one out. Look at this grain on this wood. This came out of a pallet. It is absolutely beautiful. But like I said, I get I try to I keep my pallets here and when I have time I'll break them down with the planer table saw and try to make boards out of them so that I can use them for different projects. When I use pallets to make something, I want the project to not look like a pallet when it's done. That way when I tell people it's made out of a pallet, they're like, are you serious? Like, like these. This is all pallet wood here that made this. Every bit of it is out of a pallet. It makes it a little more challenging and it's a lot of fun and plus pallet wood is free. Well, the, wood, the pallets are free but the wood is not. That's what I, that's what I always tell people. But uh, thank you for checking out this video. I don't know if this was a very good video or a very fun video, but uh, if you got ideas for better ways to break pallets down, leave those below so that other people can see those. Thanks again for watching, and as always, y'all will see me next time.